Autoimmune response is about this kind of post-apocalyptic Navajo man roaming a beautiful but somehow toxic landscape and trying to figure out how to exist in that space. The title references autoimmune disease, which kind of disproportionately affect Native American populations. So when I was making this series, I was thinking, in some ways, Native Americans are, are the sentinel population. We're the canaries in the, in, in the coal mine, but we all share this coal mine. <laughs> so it's also about a response, though. So it's about kind of claiming agency and trying to figure out how to um, exist in that space and, and, and move forward and survive. The SIPIC series, uh, the Critical Indigenous Photographic Exchange, which is a little bit more in response to images like the ones that uh, Edward S. Curtis created. I invite sitters to come and participate in this almost performance. I make their photograph uh, with this historic photographic process called uh, wet plate that kind of predates Curtis, actually. He did do some wet plate, but by the time he moved into the North American Indian Project, uh, dry plate had been invented. So I use this, this historic photographic process where you're actually hand making emulsions, kind of walking the, the sitter through the process of the portrait kind of ritual. And then at the end, I gift the, the object, the, the actual um, tin type that, that is the thing that's in the camera, to the sitter in exchange for a scan of it. With the SIPIX project uh, in particular, I mean, I kind of frame that in some ways strategically around this idea of working you know, with historic images of, of Native Americans. And of course, Curtis is you know, the most well-known. He's kind of the archetypical creator of the photograph of the Native American. You know, in a lot of ways, I think, has in some authored this, this almost mythic image of, of who we are. And that image is, is prevalent even today, I think, in a lot of people's minds and imaginations. And so, the work that I'm doing right now, some of the process or some of the project is focused around photographing Native Americans. It's, it's open to anybody actually, and it's really as much about photography and I think exchange and, and you know, kind of performance, ritual, some people call it relational aesthetics. But more specifically, there's this element that, that talks about the way that we think of Native Americans, like through photography. So I'm kind of updating that practice and process, I think.